it's not even morning anymore, I think. Wait, is it morning still? I am on my way to, well, about to be on my way. Where's my sneakers? Okay. So my friends um, got me, I don't think I mentioned it, but they got me a gift card. Come on, let me go over here because you can't see me. So my friends got me a gift card to a massage center in Bayonne, New Jersey. And um, I booked it for today, which probably wasn't the best day because my cramps are unreal today. But they also say that it helps. So let's see. It's my first time ever getting a massage. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was either a European or a Swedish massage. I'm not sure. But it's at the European Day Spa in Bayonne, New Jersey, and my appointment is at 1. Um, it's currently 12.57. He's driving me to the spa. Yay. <laughs> I'm so upset that I'm feeling like this today because it was supposed to be such a fun day. I'm supposed to go get the massage and then go to my cousin's birthday dinner tonight. But I just feel like crap. posted a TikTok um, that just basically said that you don't need a luxurious life to start creating, right? Like, and I meant in terms of like content, like vlogging or, you know, taking pictures of your life, blogging, whatever it is. Right? And I posted it on TikTok and I shared it on IG Reels and someone's like, well, I need money to open a dessert shop. Of course you need money to open a shop. Did I say that? I can't stand people. Why are people online, like, the stupidity that comes from posting things online and getting stupid comments? I had to close Instagram and walk away because it's at 10k views right now and I don't know how I feel about that. Like, of course, like, my goal is to grow on social media. But like, I don't want to go viral, you know, I want to grow a steady, a steady fan base or a steady viewership, a steady audience. Like, I don't want to go viral to the point where everyone sees my, my TikTok and I want to take it down. It, 
Like my anxiety is insane right now and I'm scared that, you know, this is what I want. This is part of the, the goal, you know? It was at 10K views and then I just refreshed it and it's at 11K views, like. I think I'm gonna hold off on posting anything on IG Reels for a while because I can't handle this. Like TikTok, I get steady views like, and I kind of like it that way. I don't want to go viral, that's not my goal. This one right here. Look, this one has zero, this one has a thousand. This one has 11K, like. Like obviously the end goal is for me to just do this. And the only way to like, I don't know. The only way to obviously grow is to get views and to get views you have to post on sites. Is it just my anxiety? holding me back from wanting this. I get what I want. I get a video to get lots of views and lots of likes. And like, obviously that's why I was posting on reels, right? Like I knew that was gonna happen eventually. So I'm gonna go eat this. I just put some peanut butter on a slice of bread and I'm eating an orange. And I'm gonna stay away from my phone after this. I'm texting Brandon. I'll see you guys in a bit. weekend vlog. It is Saturday, July 2nd, um, and we are about to head out the door in a few um, to go to breakfast with my parents. Today's my dad's birthday. I just threw on this bodysuit I got from Shein, some old jeans and my sandals. I don't know, like my hair's not done, but I don't have time to do it, so I just put it in this headband. Um, it looks, it's not bad, but um, we are about to head out, and I'm not sure if I'm going to record in IHOP because my phone is like basically full I need to update the storage or delete some things I don't know but there's just no space on my phone so um, yeah that's the plan for now we're gonna be back and then um, I'm most likely get my day started my third part to my San Francisco vlog is going live at 12 p.m. today I posted my TikTok like teaser trailer for it this morning um, so it's 9 55 and I already feel slightly productive <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be a good day um, and have some fun things planned. I think Brandon wants to do kind of like a photo shoot in the house, um, so I'll probably do that later and then maybe watch a movie with my dad. But yeah, that should be the vibes for today. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's a little later in the day. It's about 4. Um, we went to IHOP as you saw. I came back and did my workout. It was really good. <laughs> Um, but now I'm getting ready for this photo shoot that Brandon wants to do. Um, he has an idea to do like kind of like a renaissance vibe. I basically told him that, you know, I want to get a little better with, you know, taking pictures and just being a little bit more confident. And since, you know, he's a growing photographer, I told him, you know, I would like to do some kind of practice shoot with him every once in a while. That way, if the pictures come out really nice, he has photos for his portfolio. And then I have content for my Instagram as well as, you know, a way for me to grow a little bit more confidence. So I'm wearing this white dress um, and I'm about to do some makeup and fix my hair. I'm not sure how this comes out. I'm not feeling too in the mood right now. I need to. <laughs> I need a little boost right now. Um, I have been waiting for my first check, my first paycheck from my job for a few days and I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to come today. If it doesn't come today, I probably won't get it until Tuesday and today is Saturday so I've been kind of stressed and kind of a little annoyed. Um, I've been really on edge for the past few days because of it. It's a little frustrating 
Um, so I'm trying to take my mind off it. I keep checking the mail like every hour and it's just not there. And I'm waiting for my benefits package along with that. It's just, it's a lot. And I know it's coming. I know it's on its way. It's just, I need my money. Like, but I'm trying to take my mind off of it. So I figured, you know what? I should probably do this and have a little fun with the shoot and then go watch a movie with my dad because he wants to watch um, Ambulance or something. It's like on Amazon Prime. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll probably take you guys and watch, help you guys watch me do my makeup, but it's not going to be anything special. Actually, so let's go. Headband I stole from my goddaughter. But yeah. Try to do like a little. You can't really see it on the camera, but that's the effect I was going for. Like curl long curls in the face and then curls all around. So. You have your barriers high. Cause you. Don't know your want of a kind You don't wanna let me Don't wanna be let down Fear if you let this be I won't be around I see the fear in your eyes When we talk about being just you and I I know that you've been hurt before And you don't wanna go near the flames And get burned again You know that I see you And I still want you And I don't wear no tinted glasses I see through your circumstances You know that I see you And I still want you Play my music. Hey 
Hey guys. <laughs> so, some technical difficulties. So, I found my old camera. It's PowerShot Canon. Um, I used to use this when I went to concerts a lot as a teen. <laughs> um, but yeah, it still works. So, I'm using this for now until um, I can get a better camera again. This along with my phone. So, um, it is July 4th. I've been in the house all day, about to go get some food. I've been transferring a lot of footage that I had on my phone for the past few weeks, months, onto my computer, and it's literally taken me like over an hour. Um, I've came to the conclusion that I need a smaller, more portable camera so that I don't have to use my phone the whole time anymore. But yeah, I washed my hair why I look like this um, and yeah when I used to go when I went to like my first few Jonas concerts so it was like you said 2010 yeah I think so I went to my first Jonas concert in 2008 and I got this a few years after because Genesis and I realized that we wanted to get awesome pictures to put on Facebook mm. so we needed a really good camera, so we got this. <laughs> and I was in charge of taking all the pictures. Mm. And I was obsessed with getting good pictures. I like started to research mm. what cameras would be good, like the distance wise and like lighting. This and thing's got a good zoom. Yeah, that's why I got it. You know I need that? to show you the pictures that I've gotten from concerts, and I didn't like I. I didn't get front row seats, like I would be like up in the nosebleeds for some of them. So the camera that I'm recording with right now took these pictures years ago. So I went to the Glee concert when they came to New Jersey and took these. I was super proud of them. <laughs> I saw Taylor Swift, obviously my boys, gotta have the Jonas Brothers. I saw David Archuleta in, I think this was in New York. Another Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. This is Glee. I think this was actually at their Camp Rock tour in somewhere in Jersey, I don't know. Glee. This was one of my favorite pictures that I took from the Glee concert. Taylor Swift. I was not close. I think she was in the middle here, on the middle stage though. Kevin, Nick. Demi Lovato, Joe, and then the Warblers from Glee. Yep. This little camera took me through a lot of concerts. <laughs> it's actually feeling really weird to use it right now, but at least it works. Oh, oh, you're recording. This is recording right now. Remember when I was Hi guys, 
it's Thursday, it's not Friday. So I got a new camera. My Lumix was dropped, lens broke. We had to get another one basically um, because we didn't have another lens for it that will work for me. Um, so Brandon was like, you know, it'll just be better if we sell the one that I was using and use the money to get a new camera, um, which is exactly what we did. We sold the Lumix and I picked up ZV-1 or something, like the vlogging camera, like the, the big gold, the big bad vlogging camera. It looks beautiful. So this is used. Um, it's not a brand new camera by any means, almost two, $300 cheaper than like a brand new one. But Brandon is used to getting used cameras on eBay and that's what he uses as a photographer. So he was like, you know what, I recommend it. Like, you don't have to buy a new one. And I really don't need a new one as long as it works. And you know, I can always buy new batteries and things like that. Like, oh, like if you know me, and if you know the camera that I was using before, oh, no, if you know the camera that I was using before, like it was humongous. It's so tiny. I'm in love. I'm in love. And my advice to you guys, if you're getting a camera, if you need a vlogging camera, Buy it on eBay, buy it used. You don't need a brand new camera, you don't. You don't need a brand new camera. I know everyone wants to do the unboxings, everyone wants to make it aesthetically cute with the pictures of like, you know, no, you don't need a brand new camera. We literally paid like about $400 for this compared to $700 for a brand new Sony V1. Like, it's not necessary. And it works just fine. It works just fine. And I can buy all the other little attachments that I need as the time comes, I have a battery, I have a charger, that's all I need. That's all I need. So, I'm gonna go work out. Love you guys. <laughs>
for now. Yeah. Um, so they'll stay like that. I don't know. As you guys know, um, my gym clothes, um, my workout stuff, my workout, um, my sports bras and stuff are in here. And then we have some towels that need to go in there as well. Um, my winter like sweaters and then hoodies are like in these. I have like sandal shoes in there that I don't normally use. And then I have the jeans, pants, that sort of thing in there. And then obviously clothes. My bags will not stay on the floor there forever. I need to find something to do with them. I moved from my makeup desk to over here. I feel like it'll give me some nicer lighting on this side. And I'll just feel a little bit better. Like, it just, I feel like it just opens up the space because the desk kind of took up a lot of room, um, in this room, and it's not, like, that big, like, I can step out, and, like, the room's not huge, but it's, it's decent, but this being in the middle just was just, like, too much space, so I put the mirror in the middle. I don't like where it is. I, I really don't like it, but we don't have a choice because, like, unless I put this here... But then I don't like the idea of this being in the middle of the room either. I wanted to put this over here, but I don't like that bit there either. So whatever. I put the shoe rack and I turned it this way. Brendan and I have to go through all of our shoes and sort of the things that we don't want, things that we want to keep, we want to throw out or even sell. Um, he has to go through his own things and kind of put it in this bin for like next season as well. But Hey guys, so it's, oh, I didn't even have my watch on. Oh, so we hung up another mirror in our closet. This really pretty, kind of like ornate looking design. My parents had it in the basement. Um, pay no attention to this. this. This entire pile is what we have to go through. Like, we went through all of our clothes, um, all of his clothes everything in our bins we went through and um, decided on what we want to keep and I mean not keep to donate or sell and literally this whole pile of just like like random things are here so we have our pile of clothes here and then we have shoes like sneakers and stuff um, here that we are gonna sort through see what we're going to do with them. But everything's there. Um, the room is so much cleaner, so much more spacious. We put our, I put my bookshelf here, I showed you earlier. I cleared off the towels that were on top and I put my three most used bags. Um, this is my work bag, as you guys saw before. This is my like going out, like Aaron's bag. And this is my laptop bag in case I need to take my laptop with me to work. So then I put my two smaller like shoulder bags right here. Um, these are things I need to go through. I think I told you guys that before. Um, I cleared up my desk a little bit. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it for now. Um, I need to wipe down my desk still. Put off the top because it makes me so, like, see makeup on it. But, but yeah. The room is so much bigger. I'm planning to take down the, what is it called? the bar or whatever <laughs> and move it up higher get a new one because I don't like the gold one anymore um, get a new one and most likely black to match this um, and put it up higher get some new curtains and maybe you know do the the longer curtain like floor to ceiling curtains kind of look so it makes the room feel bigger um, but yeah we went through our shoes so it looks a lot neater I still have a couple here that I want to like decide on but yeah those are our most used shoes so I usually throw on my vans or my work shoes um, yeah it's coming along it's coming along I'm really liking it so far everything looks good the room feels so much more open um, I'm just happy I'm just really happy that I decided to do this like this wasn't this wasn't the plan for today at all I want to break here. I had planned to, you know, go to Starbucks and get some content done, but 
I started I started moving things around in here and little by little like it just didn't happen um, <clears throat> maybe I'll get like a little stand for here I think that'll be cute okay guys so I'm about to head out to Target my dad's gonna give me a ride went on the app for something and I saw that I still had like a $30 gift card I really need like a little like a little cart for the closet let me show you my desk is crazy with all these products up here and sometimes they fall and I knock them over because I'm moving too much or the desk moves and one just kind of plops over so I got like a little one of those little utility cart things that rolls um, to fit right here and I measured and it it should fit perfect. Ordered it last night and did... Oh my god, that sunscreen looks crazy. Um, and I ordered for pickup today. So I'm going to go run to grab it. And then I'll be back. And then most likely try to put it together to fit in that corner. So I'm excited. It's going to look really cute, I think, if it fits. It should look really cute in that little corner. And then I can clear out those bags there. And then put my products on the cart. <sighs> it's been a morning already. But I'm loving how... This room looks, my sunscreen looks crazy. Like you can see the white guys. Let's go. Okay, I just had to take this off of 4K because I feel like it's killing my battery and I didn't even really realize. Okay, so let me grab my scissors. Okay, so I picked up the cart from Target and I'm about to put it up. You guys. I don't think you guys really want to watch, but I'm going to record it anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I should have flipped this over. Like, this is bothering me that the seam <laughs> is there, but it's not a big deal. If I get one of those, like, bucket things to hang on the side with, like, if I need extra storage, that's, you know, I'll do that. But, yay! I love it. Okay, time to fill it up. Gonna get some sushi. Sushi time. Hey guys, so we are on our way to Domo Domo. We're gonna have some sushi. I've been craving sushi for the longest and figured let's celebrate. 
so oh god this lady was just something vlogging so <laughs> it's awkward it is 6.40 on June July 12th oh my god and I'm starving we're gonna have some sushi we're gonna have some soju or some sake it's gonna be a good night it's gonna be a good night we gotta celebrate some things, some growth. You know, we accomplished a lot in these last couple of weeks, and it's important to celebrate your accomplishments. True that. It really is. Facts, facts. And then why even accomplish anything? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be proud of yourself. <laughs>